What's goody Pisces? It is your most favorite gal in the wild. <laughs> Me, Blue Phoenix. <laughs> That's who. What's good, y'all? Thank y'all for coming back to our little safe space, right? Our little place on YouTube for us to come chop it up and see what uh, messages spirit has for y'all. All right, if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is um, the Big Energy Fam. Yeah, and we are so happy to have you here. We're going to do a reading today to see what's going on with you. And what, my energy is low. Okay, I just did another reading. My energy was lit. I was on fire. My energy is low. Some of y'all might be tired or something or be like, oh, God, oh, when is it just come on already? That's what I'm feeling. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> anyway, hey y'all, let's start over. Hey, hi, I'm Blue Phoenix. Thanks for visiting our channel. All right, uh, if you are a returning member of the Big Energy Fam, what's goody boo? Thank y'all so much for coming back. I appreciate y'all. Sorry I've been gone so long. Your girl has been going through some new transitions in life, okay? We got our Pisces uh, channel, Planet Pisces. It's popping over there. Y'all should come and give us a visit. Pay us a visit over there. See if you like the place. And if you do, hit the subscribe button. Become a citizen. You can also do that right here if you're new. Okay? <laughs> and become a part of the Big Energy Fam. Both places are beautiful, welcoming places for you to be who you want to be. Enjoy your time with us. And I'm just going to shut up now because... I think I'm getting sleepy. It's late at night and it's time for reading, okay? Anyway, what's coming towards Pisces? Let us see. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What energies are coming towards y'all? The wheel and the two of summer fell out on pre-shuffle. All right, but we'll tap deeper. I'm gonna put them back in the in the deck. And then you got the ace of winter, all right, um, on the bottom of the deck. Don't forget to like the video, y'all. That is a dope-ass, free-ass way for you to exchange energies with your tarot readers on youtube and help us tap further into your energy okay all right if you need a personal reading you can holler at me these readings are collective pisces readings so pick up what resonates leave the rest and use your discernment otherwise just get a personal reading okay the will says delays are over sudden or <clears throat> excuse me sudden or unexpected good luck a new car or a trouble <laughs> All right, and then the two of summer fell out. It says falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone. Forgiveness and the resolution of a problem. Don't give up. Your relationship can be healed. All right, on the bottom of the deck. Wow, you got the 10 of summer. It says an emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends. Raising children wisely. People you can trust. So, all right, Pisces. Let's get into it. Don't forget. To, I think I said that already. All right. This is Mercury Retrograde. So y'all bear with me. All right. I mean, this is like my third reading I've done today. And my words have come out jumbled. I'm repeating myself over and over again. And you know that the, okay. All right. I'm already feeling like this could be someone from your past that's coming back possibly. Because they just kept saying, am I, like I'm hearing re, re, re. Like I'm redoing or re iterating okay but re-saying <laughs> like i don't what I, right now like what what jeez chill chill bruh let's get into it what energies are coming towards pisces yeah dang all right reevaluating reigniting i heard okay Ooh. what energies are coming towards pisces spirit that they need to be aware of, especially in this full moon in Pisces. All right, it's happening on September the 10th. What energies are coming towards Pisces? Let's see. We have the five of summer and the two of winter. Oh, the five of summer is the five of cups, right? And that's sadness that's like, oh man, why? And then the two of winter is about decisions. So you may have to make a tough choice about something very soon, okay? What is this tough choice in relation to, okay? A king of swords could be significant. <clears throat> Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All right, the five of cups says, trust that there is a reason for everything that happens. Remove yourself from the negative emotions of others, focusing on what frightens you or worries you. All right, and then the two of winners says, indecision is holding you back. 
Make the choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others, especially others who are unemotional, okay? Feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional. So feeling trapped in between what your heart and your head is telling you, right? Nine of Swords, definitely in your head about a decision that you could possibly have to make here soon. It says unfounded fear, focusing on worst case scenarios, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem. Tell me more. What is up with this five of summer with the two of winter? What kind of decision is this? What is this in relation to spirit? Mm. All right. So for the wheel and the two of cups to come out or whatever that was that came out in the beginning, I feel like this person and put the energy where it go. I could be saying you and it could be a person. I could be saying a person. It could be you. Okay. I feel like one of y'all are very hopeful for a situation as though they like someone could just come back and just and pick up where we left off at. I feel like someone thinks that you are their soulmate. They feel like you are their soulmate or their twin flame, whatever you resonate with. Okay? I feel silence. Okay? I feel like there has been silence here in this connection or something. All right? There has been separation or like lack of communication or something like that. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's not do that though. Let's not do that though. All right? A Virgo could be significant as well with the Hermit card. Give me one card at a time, spirit, please. Oh, they gave me two, but all right. A Leo could be significant here with the sun. And then you have the four of winter. Give me a minute. Some of y'all could have a child with this person. It's something about you not worrying about it, though, Pisces. It's something about you resting and focusing on the good around you. All right, it says plans that work out perfectly, amazing ideas that lead to rewards and commendations. Gratitude for the blessing, exactly, gratitude for the blessing of life. It's something about <clears throat> do not allow whatever is happening, like everything happens for a reason. Don't allow whatever is happening to pull you out of this vibrant, beautiful, wonderful energy that you're in, okay? Mm, I'm seeing clouds like covering up a sun, all right? I'm hearing some of y'all have worked very hard for clarity, for healing, for prosperity, for, <clears throat> excuse me, a Taurus can be significant. Anytime my throat shock gets to acting up like this, I think about a Taurus. All right. Mm. Venus energy. All right. Definitely love here. We're talking about love here. All right, come on with it, spirit. What's going on? What energies are coming towards Pisces regarding this situation, please? Mm. The flame has gone out for one of y'all, <clears throat> or the flame is burning very low. I'm looking at my candle, yup, and my nose is itching. You don't feel the same. You don't feel the same way, right? Five of autumn, this is being left out in the cold someone ghosted you or you could have ghosted someone or you could have stopped talking to someone okay <clears throat> y'all could have had a really what okay i don't know something about like star trek i don't know but <clears throat> y'all could have had a really nice bond tight bond at one point in time i feel like it's some sort of separation here though somebody could travel could have traveled or gone away or something all right i'm here here in military or or doesn't necessarily have to be but i'm just seeing like like someone may have moved away a long distance or or someone could live in a different state or something or just is or or they moved out i don't know what this is but it's some sort i'm feeling like like this right and i'm feeling as though when you were here with this person mm, that it was it was it was they were good or something like okay but sometimes somebody got distracted by something the emperor something about a job somebody could have taken a promotion or something or a job or something and left or, or i don't know somebody could have got a <clears throat> a leg up or a lift up or something what are we talking about what are we talking about <laughs> what or this could be you i'm sure 
and your girl that went and got a job, y'all. So that's why I've been kind of slacking on the videos. And I gotta wake up in the morning. But I'm so very grateful. I'm not complaining at all. You got the Four of Autumn in the Strength card. It's the Four of Pentacles in the Strength. Something could have affected your finances in the past. Okay, it could be going on right now. All right? But you got the strength. Something. Okay, I feel like for some of you guys, y'all could have gone through a time, a hard time or something with your finances. This person possibly could have not been there for you. I feel as though this was divinely orchestrated to show you your strength. Something, this person took, I feel like they, it was something that they, okay, I'm seeing like a cup. Like the cup wasn't being filled in a way that you needed it to be. But this, I feel as though this was supposed to happen to show you that you don't need something from someone. Like you, I, I'm hearing you possess everything you need. I'm going to get it together. <laughs> you possess everything that you need within you. Okay. Mm. Okay. It says the grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges. Literally. <clears throat> the power of kindness and forgiveness time to embrace how wonderful you are <coughs> sorry y'all with the sun and this strength card here <clears throat> just a moment it's 11 33 on my clock y'all might want to look that angel up <laughs> something had to occur here for you to step into your I don't know what that means. Prowess? I don't know what that what they saying. Hold up. I was gonna say like your your energy, like to step into your full potential, to <clears throat> to realize that you may have had, you know, in this relationship, it could have been a codependent relationship. Some of you may not have even recognized it until you went through something. And now I feel as though burned by the fire is what I'm hearing. A fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be significant. But I'm feeling like you went through some sort of transformation. Like there, there was some sort of lack here. And some of you guys could have felt as though this person was supposed to fulfill that lack. But I feel like you found out how to fulfill it yourself. I feel as though this person, Mercury retrograde type shit, is coming back. Hmm. Full moons, y'all know what full moons mean. You know what I'm saying? Or what I take it as is release. It's a time of release. It's a time of renewal. You know what I'm saying? It's time to know, let go of things that no longer serve you. Now with the full moon in Pisces, I'll tell y'all what the uh, Cafe Astrology describes it as. It says the full moon is a time of culmination and the promise of fulfillment of what we started at the new moon. It is an emotional time, a time of romance, fertilization, and relationships. And put that with mercury retrograde okay the past possibly coming back things coming up from the past not just people but things coming up from the past also communication can be affected with mercury retrograde okay i've been seeing that with my own dang mouth okay <laughs> today in my reading <laughs> but also technologically things can be kind of okay so something about communication at a distance this person could possibly be y'all could be online or something like that okay mm. four of autumn says manage your resources wisely and achieve a balance in how you spend and save money help those who are less fortunate all right ten of winter that is literally endings releasing okay it says the resolution of difficulties a weight lifted off your shoulders yes the end of an addiction or codependency. I'm telling you. Pisces. Good job. What did I just say? What? Oh my gosh. Listen to me. You got the Empress. Awakening and renewal. Pisces. I just said you had to go through this to step into your Empress emperor if you would do energy you understand what i'm saying you had to end something and walk away from it right you got the hermit here too a lot of you guys did some deep inner soul searching some healing of issues of things going on for some of you it was with your body you understand what i'm saying it was some sort of healing your health all right the empress it says time to take action the power of creativity 
Success that allows for a life of luxury. Awakening though, this is what's getting me. So you have Libra, Taurus energy here. Renewal. Um, with renewal, I don't think that's associated with the major arcana. I don't know. Renewal, what would that be? I don't know. But awakening is definitely hangman, Pisces energy. All right, renewal says this could be like okay renewal says review the past and present so you can plan a bright future a bright new future they go that past again understanding your life purpose releasing judgment of yourself and others all right <clears throat> listen to me i took eight of eight of cups eight of summer y'all had to walk away from something and you became single what is this behind it seven of swords Ooh, what is this some of y'all have been keeping your energy to yourself. Mm. This lady is skating. I picked up on something about skating in my last reading. And she looked like she holding a potion. <clears throat> Some of you all could have been drinking, could have been doing something to hinder your sight or something. Like, <clears throat> damn. Or this connection possibly could have been hindering you from seeing something with the lovers up under here and the two of of autumn that's juggling all right let's see all right spirit so give me some the nine of autumn says reward yourself for all your hard work i'm telling you y'all been doing the work pisces You've been doing the work and it shows. And you're radiating. They keep bringing me to my beauty barrier. I made a, um, a little concoction here. You know what I'm saying? It's all natural or whatever. But yeah, it's something about... And, it, and you radiating. Your beauty radiating. Your dapperness. God damn it, boy. Radiating. You know what I'm saying? Like a light unto the world is what I'm hearing. A light... A city on the hill what are we talking about i'm seeing a house on the hill but it's a light it's beacon okay king of spring Ooh. with the seven of autumn there could be a, a aries leo sagittarius that is on their way to you some of you guys have released this most of you guys i'm here have released this old energy here this old thing that was having you had it had to put you in a place where you had to stay still for a minute and get your downloads and receive your your washing i'm hearing a renewal from the heavens from your spirit team right okay i'm hearing a king of spring is on the way to be patient <clears throat> all right someone a king of a king of wands is very attractive he is a go-getter all right mm. All right, it says a financial windfall, Pisces. Your leadership skills are needed now. An unexpected, what? Unexpected supporter of your cause. That's beautiful. All right, I'm feeling like promotion though. I'm hearing very much promotion. I heard that in the beginning of the reading. Something here, uh, floodgates, okay? When y'all released something, it caused a chain effect in the universe. I am so proud of you, Pisces. If nobody told you, I'm telling you. I am so very proud of you. I feel as though the Pisces I'm talking to has been through cycles over and over and over again. Like, different person, same energy. They may have presented themselves as one way in the beginning, but the energy changed. Okay? But it says on the bottom of the deck, the Seven of Autumn, that's the Seven of Pentacles. It says, have patience and don't worry. Take time to rest and plan your next steps, all right? A prudent investment of time or money. And what's coming with that? Mm. A fine as Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, as energy. You understand me? It don't have to necessarily be those signs. It could be someone who is just a fireball, just fiery. Fire and desire, I heard. What in the heck? Shut up. I'm telling you, bruh. 
Let go of the past, Pisces. An ending that makes way for new opportunities. Time to move on, baby. I'm telling you, something better is on the way. Y'all, don't forget to like the video. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you to everyone who is so loving and generous, okay? Especially in the comments, the like button, donations, personal readings. I appreciate you guys so very much. And everything you send to me will be returned to you three times. 33. You understand? Alright, y'all. I love you. Talk to y'all later.